Hey everybody, just wanted to do a quick video of this uh, really cool 1994 F350 uh, 7.3 indirect injection turbo diesel that I picked up. Um, pretty cool truck, really, and I uh, just wanted to do a quick run through so you can kind of see it and let me know what you think. So when I got it, this rear fender was really damaged. I went ahead and worked with a friend of mine who's a body guy and we fixed it painted it and all that looks good most of the lights work it has the roll along package which includes those um, uh, steps on the side there and as you can see it also includes those lights that are handles near the doors those light up uh, has Alcoa wheels unfortunately when I got the tires changed they actually bent the hell out of them uh, the caps so I had to get those removed and I'm probably gonna have to pick up some others there's the front grill it has two lights in the grill that don't work right now but I think it's just wiring because I looked under there and basically a couple of loose wires or cut wires that I'm gonna go ahead and replace a little bit of damage there just from the door opening um, I guess the fender was pushed in a little far and ended up causing a little damage over time so probably gonna get that worked out here soon um, has a toolbox in back it's a long bed dually really a cool truck I don't know if you've ever seen one out there on the road but this one's definitely in pretty good shape and has some work done to the engine sorry for the wind if you can hear that it does have uh, Banks exhaust from the turbo down finished with a nice little tailpipe there as far as the interior goes pretty straightforward back seats nice and roomy it does have manual windows in back and power windows up front which I thought was kind of odd but you know I guess that's less uh, regulators that can go bad it's a little dirty now I need to clean it up but it has these nice captain chairs and it allows you to lay the seat back or forward just by pulling up that lever. A lot of storage here, a couple of compartments there, there, and back there. The cup holder actually opens up and gives you more storage. So what I want to do is give you a little bit of a feel for how this thing starts, and runs, and sounds, and all that. Um, it does have 164,000 miles, I believe. Let's see. 164,997, so almost 165,000 miles. As far as it's starting, though, I mean, it's pretty darn cool. It, it goes real quick. Here we go. Oil pressure sensor's bad, doesn't work. As you can see, the engine's kind of cold. There is a pyro gauge up here flashing but you can see it's at 147 Fahrenheit right now so it's not cold but it's fairly cold um, these switches one of them actually engages the transmission fully so when you're going down a hill you can use the engine as a brake uh, this one here turns all the exterior lights on it does have a brake controller as well a CB radio turn overdrive off as you can with most trucks right there well, let me go ahead and pop the hood show you how clean this thing is runs like a top pretty clean no smoke ever comes out of the tailpipe unless you hammer the gas sometimes black smoke will come out because the uh, injection pump is tuned up and some other things are done to it but let's have have uh, a listen to this exhaust good sounding truck
Let's take her for a spin. All right, let's go. So this transmission has been rebuilt. Uh, I was told that it has a lot of high-end performance parts to make the transmission as bulletproof as it can get. Uh, as a result, it does shift nice and firm. Um, seems to shift a little less firm when it's warm. And uh, I think I'll be able to show you what I mean here. Let me go ahead and give it some here. So yeah, the transmission shifts real nice. I didn't mean it was not shifting firm as in, you know, slipping or anything like that. It absolutely never slips or anything like that. So uh, sometimes it does just push into gear nice and solid. Uh, but when it's a little warmed up, you don't feel anything like that. It's just perfect, smooth shifting. Let me go ahead and close the window here so you can hear how nice and quiet it is in here. It's nice and relaxing to drive this thing. get around this turn I'll, I'll show you if I hammer the gas let's see if I can get a nice little puff of black smoke to come out unburned fuel I guess that's something that people with diesels like to see sometimes if they're into that other people think it's stupid I don't really care either way as long as the thing runs nice See if uh, we can get a little puff of black smoke here. I'm going to hammer the gas. Hopefully, you can see that. This thing's fast. I mean, for a big truck like this, I've always been told that the indirect injection 7.3 isn't very good, but I've also read that they're extremely reliable. Uh, again, with 165,000 miles, the thing runs like it's brand new and it has extremely good um, response when you hit the gas. I mean, it goes, you know. It's just a really cool truck to drive. As you can see, temperature is always steady. It always stays around 195, 197, goes to 201, then comes back down to 195. So the cooling is working as it should. Never had any issues with that whatsoever. And if you hear any noise right now, it's because this bezel that goes around the entire uh, cluster, it's a little bit loose. So I think that could use some repair, maybe a new bezel. Well, let's go ahead and hammer it again for you. The thing just moves. So fun to drive. Well, I hope you like this video. I just like to share the things that I pick up and really like this truck, man. It's uh, something that could tow a lot, I'm sure. Very reliable, sounds good, good response, drives good. No weird noises, pops, squeaks, nothing like that. Just a good solid Ford truck, so let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to see your build on these uh, the 7.3. 
indirect injection turbo. Best of luck.